I'm curious if Anthony Lynn thought that Joe Flacco was coming in that game. The uh, Chargers head coach joins us, the Continental Tire Coaches Corner. Uh, coach, congratulations. Let me start with that question. Were you expecting yeah. Joe Flacco? You know, uh, we were prepared for Joe, uh, and, and we did talk about it on our sidelines at one point, that they might put Joe in. So uh, if he'd have came in the game, we'd have been ready. The defense that you came up with, um, how long was that in the works to, to, you have to, you know, being able to go against Lamar Jackson a couple of weeks prior, how much of an yeah. advantage was that to that defense? You know, it, it definitely gave us more looks and, uh, and, and we, had, we had a chance to come up with more tendencies that they were showing. I think when they, you know, when Lamar first came on the scene, it just wasn't a lot of tape on him, but the more games he played, you could start looking at the tape and you could see some, some tendencies that they had and, and it worked in our favor because it was right on money. Our defensive staff did a heck of a job of dissecting that team and uh, coming up with things that could help our players. What happened in the fourth quarter there in the final five minutes, six minutes? Well, you know, defense is on the field a lot, but uh, they went to the no huddle, and uh, they actually moved the ball pretty good in the no huddle. And Lamar ran around, and he uh, he made some plays with his arm. He made some plays with his legs. But, you know, we, at the same time, we could have done a better job of staying on top and not giving up big plays like we did. Have you checked the weather forecast in New England? Uh, it's... Not, not really. <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay. All right. I'm just curious. You know, like, just, like, just are getting, you just getting over? Just getting over the last one. <laughs> but, uh, I tell you what. Every time we've gone east, we've gotten outstanding weather. I mean, you, you go to Pittsburgh in December, and you go to Kansas City in December. The weather was just fine. You go to Denver in December. The weather was just fine. So uh, we've we've been blessed that way. Why are you guys good on the road? Great on the road. You know, it's, we have a tough football team, and uh, you know, we we started. You know, one of the things we wanted to be was tough. Uh, and, and and the guys, they have, uh, you know, they've responded. They've been through some adversity. They didn't complain, you know, make excuses. They they, they stuck together. And uh, they're really resilient and, and gritty. And, and I just think those type of teams, you know, they're going to play well on the road. And I was I was on one of those teams in Denver in 97. We played well on the road that year and uh, and, and did the same thing throughout the playoffs. But uh, know, this this team is built that way, man. They they care about one another, and and I think they they, they kind of like going into these hostile environments, where it's kind of like you go in back to back, you know, having each other's back. Uh, they kind of like that. Can you name all of Philip Rivers' kids? You know, I've met them, but no, I, I, I cannot do that. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, it's, it's a blessing to have a big family and uh, and have the resources for a big family. I think that. You know, it's never a boring moment, I can tell you that. Can you beat him in a 40-yard dash? I sure hope so. <laughs> you know, being a, being a former running back at all. But uh, you know, he, uh, yesterday, you know, we, we had a kid break out on the interception that they called back. Not the interception, but the uh, fumble recovery yeah. that they called back. And, uh, I mean, Phillip, I thought he was going to catch him. It was Humphrey, Bobby <laughs> Humphrey's son. And that, that sucker can run now. And uh, <laughs> Phil, was, Phil was running pretty good for a little while. How was that you plane know? ride back for you guys? It was fun. It was fun. You know, it was a long plane ride back. You know, the guys hydrated, but uh, it was definitely fun. Continental Tire Coach's Corner brings us Anthony Lynn, the Chargers head coach. I saw where you called uh, Todd Haley brothers for life. Um, can you can you give us just uh, like the Cliff Notes version of, you know, why you feel like Todd Haley is a brother for life? Well, I tell you, he was there for me uh, at one of my uh, worst moments. You know, uh, Todd and I was out having a, a pizza and a couple of pops, and I ended up getting hit by a drunk driver. And uh, by all means, probably should have died that night. I got hit by a car going 60 miles an hour. Uh, he was three times the legal limit drunk. But I survived, and Todd was there with me the whole time. I mean, we were friends before that, but after that night, it was it was, it was was a it was a special bond because I just remember him comforting me and telling me I was going to make it. I was going to be all right when I really didn't think I was. But uh, that was uh, that was just a special moment, just the way he handled that situation. And, and you know, and after that, he went through a lot, you know, because he watched me get hit and fly 50 feet in the air and land on the other side of the road, total of Volkswagen that I landed on. And he, he saw it all, and it really affected him for a long time. And, uh, you know, uh, he, he admitted to me that he had to get some help because he couldn't get those visions out of his head. And, and so we wow. talked about this for years, man, and, uh, and it just kind of made us closer. 
Yeah, I, I saw uh, some reports said that you were bloodied and uh, unconscious. Uh, you woke up, and Todd Haley's holding your head off the ground. Uh, yeah. And then you didn't. You thought maybe you were paralyzed. Like, did did you wonder? Sometimes when you get injured, you don't realize how injured you are. It's somebody who's there no. with you to say, "No, no, you're in trouble here. Stay down." Did you need that? Right. Somebody like I, Todd I telling you? I needed that. I definitely needed that because I I had no idea what had happened, and I kept trying to get up, and I really couldn't get up, and I couldn't feel my legs, and you know, for two days I couldn't feel my lower body, and so, you know, and, and Todd was just there holding my head up off the pavement, making me as comfortable as possible until he got me into the ambulance. But uh, I don't remember much about that night, but I do remember Todd being there and comforting me, and that, that meant a lot. I love, though, that you're saying, like, dude, why are you staring at me? And he's <laughs> he's got to be thinking, how in the hell are you alive? <laughs> you know, that was, that was weird because we would be in coaching meetings, and I could just feel someone just staring at me, and I look across the table, and I'm like, yeah, dude, well, well, stop staring at me. And he's just like, <laughs> he whisper, I can't believe you're alive. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, then, yeah. I mean, you can't be fearful going into New England. I mean, it, it, given what you've done, who cares where you go to Pittsburgh, go to Denver, it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? No, we, you know, we're not fearful. We'll, we'll play any, anybody anywhere. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a heck of a challenge uh, Sunday in New England. You know, those guys, are, uh, they've been champions for a long time. They've won a lot of hardware. And it's kind of, you know, let it be known that if you're going to win that sucker, you got to go through them. And uh, and we're gonna go and give it our best shot, and uh, you know, work on right now, getting our guys prepared. Uh, have an outstanding coaching staff. I know we will be prepared, and we'll see who executes the best. Do you bring your Super Bowl ring out at all? You know, I don't because the team that I won the Super Bowl rings with are in the same damn division, <laughs> so I can't, I can't, I can't wear them. <laughs> Come on. It's like it's like dropping the mic. Just go in there, get your Super Bowl ring, and just drop it on the table and then you walk know, out. I, I want to help these guys get their own Super Bowl ring. That's what I want to do. And then I'll definitely bring it out. Well, good luck. And uh, great season so far. And uh, safe travels. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, thanks, Dan. All, All right. right. That's Bye -bye. Anthony Lynn. He's the uh, – yeah, I, I was reading the, the story on that where came out of a bar with Todd Haley, who's the uh, – you know – Great offensive coordinator, and all of a sudden it's like gets hit by a car going about 55 miles an hour. And doctors said, you, you know, people don't live. You know, they, they thought he was he was going to die 100 percent. You know, they were saying so. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing story there. So you know, what's the big deal? I'm going to New England to face uh, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Continental Tire Coach's Corner. Continental Tire, proud to be the exclusive tire of the Dan Patrick Show. No matter where you drive, what you drive, how you drive, Continental designs tires for what you do. For more information, visit ContinentalTire.com. Continental Tire, for what you do. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.